Civilian Legal Grenades. Let's see what they're all about. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Pilot Patriot channel. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at a series of civilian legal grenades. Now all of these came from a company called IWA International. Now IWA is a company based in Miami, Florida that imports these into the country from the UK. These are marketed to shooters, police departments, and people that are gonna be using these in real world environments. So that's the way we're gonna treat this review today. And they have a pretty good selection of different devices that we're gonna be talking about today we have their m14 smoke grenade we have the m13 thermobaric device now this is going to be basically a flash bang it's going to give you a bang and a bright flash at the same time then we have the m12 distraction device this is going to be a single bang and then we have the m11 thermobaric multi bang which is going to give you four bangs now we're gonna take a look at each of these individually and talk about what exactly they do. Then we're gonna test them for you guys. But first, if you haven't done it yet, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell, and give us a big old thumbs up. That really helps us out. And if you like these kind of videos, make sure you let us know in the comment section below what kind of videos do you want to see going forward from the Pilot Patriot channel. Now let's get in here, take a closer look at these, and then we'll test them out for you guys. Before we get back to the video, I wanna to talk to you guys about PrepWithPilotPatriot.com. The world is in a fragile place right now, and with gas and food prices rising and a looming food crisis, now is the time to prepare for more instability in the future. Now, do you have enough emergency food on hand to get you through severe shortages? The fact is that most people don't, and that's why I recommend My Patriot Supply. They are America's largest emergency preparedness company. Their food lasts up to 25 years in storage, so when you need it, it'll be there. And if you act today, you can save $150 on their three-month emergency food kit. You'll get three solid months of breakfast, lunch, dinners, drinks, and even snacks. So when emergencies and shortages happen, you won't go hungry when you have this emergency food. So go to PrepWithPilotPatriot.com and save $150 on that three-month emergency food kit. That's PrepWithPilotPatriot.com and get your family's emergency food while you still can. Now first we're going to take a look at the M14 smoke deployment grenade. Now right off the bat, the first thing I really like about these is just the design and the function of the way these work. You do have traditional pin and spoon, which is very reminiscent of what you would see from your standard military issue type grenades. Now these are constructed of a tough plastic and you can see this outer cardboard sleeve here. Now the size and shape of this is designed to fit into most of your smoke and flashbang grenade pouches that you find on the market. And they did design this to be somewhat waterproofed. I'm not sure um, exactly to what level that is. Now, like I said, the M14 is their smoke grenade. As you can see, this one here is gonna be a purple smoke. They do offer these in several different colors. You can get them in white, red, green, blue, orange, and purple. And so what's gonna happen, once you pull this pin, you're gonna hold down that spoon, and then when you throw it, you let go of that spoon, and that's gonna trigger the ignition. And then you're gonna have 2.5 seconds before it starts and they do advertise a smoke emission time of around 45 to 55 seconds, so that is very respectable. It is supposed to be a nice large cloud of dense smoke, and we will definitely test that out for you guys in just a minute. The next one we're gonna look at is the M13 thermobaric device. Now, like I said, this one here is designed to be basically a flashbang. So IWA says that it's designed to give a loud report and a very bright flash. It works just the same as the other. Once you pull the pin and toss it, you're gonna have a two and a half second fuse burn time. And the sound level they say this puts out should be 126 decibels. So that's nice and loud, nice loud report. Now they don't give you any indication of how bright that flash is, but like I said, we are to test that out for you guys here in just a minute and just so you know they advertise a safety distance of five meters from this once you throw it next one we're looking at is the m12 distraction device now this is going to be just a single bang at 124 decibels so it's still nice and loud all the other specs of this are the same 
And last but not least, this is the one I'm really excited to look at. This is the M11 Thermobaric Multi Bangs. So this one, like I said, is going to give you four bangs. Each of those is reported to be at 124 decibels. So while that single bang grenade is definitely going to be a good distraction device, I think this multi bang is definitely pretty interesting and I can't wait to see how that works. All right, guys, now that first one we're going to be testing is that M14 smoke grenade. Before we do that, I just want to give you guys a quick little tutorial on how to do this. So you might can see here that the pin does have a little bit of a safety on it. So what you're going to do is you're going to twist this in a counterclockwise motion. Then you're going to pull that pin out. And as long as you're holding down that spoon, it's not going to deploy yet. Once you toss it, that that spoon deploys and then you should start to get some smoke after about two and a half seconds. Now, just so we have something to compare this to, I'm going to be also setting off a Enola Gay 18X smoke grenade. This is probably one of the most popular uh, smoke grenades on the civilian market, used a lot in milsim, paintball, all that kind of stuff. These are great smoke grenades. I've been using these for a long time. And I, so I just want to do a comparison and see how the M14 from IWA stacks up against that Enola Gay 18X. Let's do it. All right, not bad guys. Hopefully I got that in frame for you. And as you can tell, we do have some wind out here today. So that's kind of pushing that smoke. Uh, but I will say it was a good thick smoke. Now I wasn't totally satisfied with that comparison because of the way the wind really swept up that first M14 grenade. So I am gonna try this one more time and give that IWA another shot. Now let's try the Enola Gay. All right, guys, now the wind kind of helped out the Enola Gay on that one, kind of pushed the smoke straight towards the camera, but I will put those side by side so you can see exactly how they stack up.
All right, guys, now we're gonna test out our flashbang grenade. All right, guys, now we're gonna try out the M12 distraction device. That's the single bang and the M11 multi-bang. Now, the reason we are inside is because this is more typical of where you would use something like this is in an enclosed space so you can get the most report from that bang. So uh, we're gonna get in here. And now I do have hearing protection for this part because I'm not trying to blow my ears out. Let's give them a try. This is gonna be the M12, the single bang. All right, guys. Now we did get a little bit of a flash from that as well. Uh, so this is the one I'm really excited to check out. This is the M11 multi bang. All right, now I don't know about you guys, but I was pretty impressed with the results. I will say, uh, I think the smoke grenade was just okay, uh, but it did just fine. And I think it would get the job done. The single bang was cool as well, but the ones that I was most impressed with was the flash bang. That one was really cool. Nice and bright, nice and loud, especially in that dark shop. And then of course the multi bang because four bangs is always better than one. Let us know what you guys thought in the comment section below. Do you have any other suggestions for civilian legal grenades? I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that notification bell and definitely give us a big old thumbs up. That always helps us out. And as always, if you want to help support the channel, you can do that by joining us on Patreon. You can also use our links in the description below or go to pilotpatriotapparel.com to get yourself some cool patriotic and Second Amendment t-shirts. Thanks for watching guys. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.